Hello there, I'm John Corridor with more Pokemon with Grinch and Spider Riddle. Um, in the last part, why did I say, um, dang it? <laughs> in the last part, we took on Pokemon Mansion and we got the secret key. This gym was originally locked. Um, but we got the secret key, so it's unlocked now, so that's good. So let's talk to the Vice Giver. Yo, champ in the making. The hot headed, the hot -headed Blaine is a fire type. Fire Pro. Fire Pokemon Pro. That was his spirits with water. You better take some burn heals, too. Who needs burn heals when you have full heals that can heal any status condition? Such as sleep, paralyzation, poison, and burn, or whatever. Whatever, whatever. Okay, Cinnabar, Pokemon Gym, Leader, Blaine. Winning trainers, of course, it's Sam. Sam's just like, oh, I'm Sam. I can beat all the gyms before a girl can. Okay. So, as I explain my lineup, and this will pretty much, pretty much very, uh, um, be the same as the trainers. I want to have Flackamore get some experience before Dragoon just douses them in the water, as he said. So, we have to go to this machine, Pokemon quiz, get it right, and the door opens to the next room, get it wrong, and face the trainer. Why don't you get serve your Pokemon gym leader, and get it right, here we go, Caterpie falls into Metapod. Yes, I think the original question for Red, Blue, and Yellow was, is, um, Butterfree the second stage in the evolution of the Caterpie family? Something like that, go on through. I'm gonna see if I can get all these questions right, but like, that's the only one I actually remember, but we'll see. And if you just talk to the trainer, so I'm not gonna battle you. So to open this gate, you have to go to this questionnaire machine. Good Pokemon quiz. Get it right, the door opens, in the next room, get it wrong, and you face the trainer. If you want to consider- okay, whatever, then get it right, same, competitive. There are nine- no, there's eight <laughs> certified Pokemon League badges. There are eight. Yes, the ding, ding you're absolutely correct, go on through it. Again, with the repetitiveness, but oh well, it's still catchy. So to open this door, you have to answer this. So we're two for whatever. Okay, Pokemon Quiz. Get it right, then it opens the next one. Oh, okay, I don't have to read this every single time. And get it right, here we go. Parwag evolves three times. No, only two, because one into Parwool, and then Puff Parwool to Parwrath. So no. Yeah, there we go. I'm, uh, I'm pretty psyched about this. Okay. Next question, as you go along, you're, they're obviously going to get harder. Repetitiveness, we don't have to say again. Yeah, yeah, then you're right, here we go. An electric move, effective against ground type moves. No, it doesn't affect ground type moves. Or ground type Pokemon. So, no. Okay. Okay. Come on, through. I, f I forgot my count, so I'm going to have to recount the questionnaire machines. I think this might be the second to last one, actually. Pokemon quest. Okay, okay. This is getting really annoying at this point, but oh well. Okay, Pokemon of the same kind and level. Pokemon of the same kind and level or not. Oh, shoot. I, I should know this, but it's just the way, the way it's avoided. It's confusing me. Okay, Pokemon of the same kind and level are not identical. Um, yes, they're identical. Yes, okay. Phew, that was a close one. See, so, yeah, as you get along, the, and I'm not, I haven't done this gym in a long time. See, right in there you should see Blaine, but it's not, it's kind of cut off, but whatever. Last question, I think. Okay. TM. Two, okay, you can get this, you can always, uh, you can already tell it's no, because Tombstony is not a Pokemon move. TM28 actually contains, contains Dig, actually. Um, they almost said it was like a um, Rock Tomb or something like that, that's closest, but TM28, if you remember back in Super Wayne City, the Rocket Grunt stole the TM28, and that was Dig, to dig holes. So, it contains... Still me. No! Okay. Gosh. Go on through. Is there one more question to answer? Is that Blaine? So basically, if you go back in the video, you can have all the right answers, but we won't actually face all the trainers. So, I was... Let's see, I'm gonna have to count these. One machine, two machine... Um, three machine, five, oh no, three to five, wow, that's my first, um, error, I guess, so that's, what that was four, this is five, this one is six, and this one is seven, look at this, six, I was six for six, awesome, I'll, I'll count the trainers just to make sure, and then we'll get this part started, one, two, three trainers, four trainers, Five trainers? Oh, wait, there's seven, isn't there? But let's see. Five. Six. Ah, oh, there's seven, isn't there? 
So basically, if you get all the questions like like I did, you skip seven battles. So let's just check that way on our way back. One trainer, so two, because those will not there's not a machine for everyone. So that's two machines. So I'll count by machines. Three, four, five. This one upcoming is six, so six. Yeah, six machines and seven trainers, I believe. So yeah, I was six for six on the Pokemon quiz. Awesome, we got 100%. How nice. So we're gonna face the trainers finally. I'll put a little um, Sony Vegas text media thing that says skip to whatever if you wanna actually get to the real battles. So this is where the part I actually wanted to start, but I just wanted to show you how to get through the gym without having to battle any trainers. I was stuck at the last, the second to last question though, because it, it's just the way it was worded. I mean, I'm glad I got that right though. I trust in my gut. So we're gonna go with a uh, rock slide because that's gonna be super effective and it's really powerful. My headphones are getting messed up. There we go. That's better. Okay. My head is itchy. Huh? I'm scratching my hair. <laughs> um, let's use a slash attack. Awesome. So how long did it take me to? Okay, it took over six minutes in real time just to explain all that junk with all the questions and all that. Okay, Vulpix. Nope. I shall not switch out. Rock slide attack. This should faint the ball picks so up. I'm pretty certain. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. Yeah. I'm really loving this walkthrough. I love this walkthrough. And the more and more I go, like, doing it and recording the parts for it. Because, like, this is my favorite video, honest to goodness, that, um, I like. This is my favorite, not favorite video, but favorite Pokemon game. Which is, like, the original. I just like how it was the remix for the original game that started the Pokemon franchise. You know, for Red, Blue, and Yellow. And the remix of Fire Red and Wolf Green, obviously. Yeah, this should, um, not faint it. Oh, critical hit, so. I bet if I didn't have a critical hit, it wouldn't faint it in one hit. Nice. Okay, we got this. I surrender. You better do so. Of course, burglars are gonna be in this gym. How did they get in and not us? Did they like hide a copy of the key or something? So again, you just talk to them. After you answer the questions correctly, you just have to talk to them to battle them. That's always good for the experience, you know. I just always love getting experience in Pokemon games. Volpix. Volpix would have been my fire type in this walkthrough if I didn't choose Charmander as my starter. So just so you guys know, because I think Leaf Green. They kind of didn't get a good almighty powerful fire type from the differences, like, in Fire Red, you got, like, Growlithe, and then it evolved into Arcanine, which is really fast and really powerful on special attack. But Vulpix is, you know, dumbed down, not as powerful in some cases. But I always use Vulpix. I've never really chose Trimander as my starter. Maybe once on a test run, but that's about it. So, just so you know. Nine tails. Again, let's hope we, we can have like a magical critical hit like last battle. Let's see. Ah, oh, quick attack, of course. Okay, let's see. This shouldn't faint it, but let's hope for that critical. And it didn't faint it. Oh well. Let's use Rockside one more time. Ah, oh, yeah, it doesn't. Rockside doesn't have the best of um, accuracy sometimes, so oh well. There we go. We got it. We got the nine tails, which I should have said we got her. Sorry, nine tails. To level 40 we go! Eric. Hot hot hot. <laughs> That's what I saw this ending dialogue. Let's see, let's keep on going with um Wakamon. Maybe I'll switch it up for the next battle. I don't know. Well if there's like six there's six machines and seven trainers, so I don't know if I'm gonna split it equally or a little bit. Cause four and three, whatever. Or any other competition. Combination like five or two. Oh, uh, I should conserve this. Let's actually go with Hyper Beam. Yeah. Hyper Beam time. Awesome. We got this. We got this good. There we go. How sweet. Charmander. Oh, I want to actually give um Lightning this one, because Tri Lightning can definitely handle a Charmander. So, we're going to go with that. So, let's use... Let's use Secret Power, even though Shockwave does get same type attack points. That should be a Trimalion, almost a Charizard, to be a Tri- That should be- Oh, how is- Okay. That should be basically a Trimalion ready to evolve into a Charizard, almost, but- Oh, well. Shockwave attack. And no Slam Sale, that's pretty cool. 
I guess it, you know, like, the younger that Pokemon, or the, like, my, I, I should mention this now. My Weeping Bell, when it was a Weeping Bell, it could have learned Razor Wave at level 38, but I evolved it into Victory Bell too early, so it never got to learn Razor Wave. I looked it up on Swoopy.net. I was like, ah, oh, man, I messed that up. Oh, that reminds me, I should teach that Solar Beam TM to Venus. Suck. I'm glad I brought that up, huh? <laughs> so, yeah. Like, as, for example, Char Charmander learned, um, Flame Zero before, um, it would at, like, a normal Charmeleon, because it's just weird how Pokemon does stuff, but it's kind of, um, worth waiting if you can, and, like, um, I believe, like, mine, if you remember my Numble, could have learned Flame Zero if it was still a Numble, if I would have pressed B and prevented it from evolving, but I always want to show the Pokemon evolving right when it's supposed to evolve in my walkthroughs, but that's just my personal preference. So hopefully you follow all that. Oh, so much rambling, nothing about the gameplay. Dang it! Okay, we just fainted the Vulpix, there we go. Growlithe. Let's actually give this one to Dragoon. Yeah, Lightning, good, come back. Okay, let's do this. Growlithe, 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 Growlithe. And Determinate, and Determinate back, right? Do you have a team? Okay, yeah. Cool. Determinate's actually a really good ability. It's really handy. Let's just surf you up. Surf the turf. Okay, it's been almost 12 minutes in real time. Okay, there we go. Okay, I got a good strategy. Oh, right, well, I almost forgot. Let's teach Solar Beam to Venus right now. Ah, oh, man, controls. Okay, let's see. Down, it's TM22. Yeah, see, he, just to prove it, TM28 is dig. Yay. I know my Pokemans, or at least the puzzle and how to get through and stuff. Okay, let's just use... Okay, I'm probably gonna get rid of... What was that one move? Not Sweet Powder or Secret Power or, or um, Giga Drain, but that one other move. Uh, let's give it a Bullet Seed. Bullet Seed's, you know, it's done its job. One, two, and poof. Yeah, cram out... See, just, you know, all you have to do is drop it in its mouth, apparently. I think that's how Venus eats, you know. That's definitely the mouth, I believe. Uh, but I don't know my plants, so I'm not much of a Venus flytrap person. Yeah, to say the least. So we're gonna go on to battle number four, and we got three more after this. So just to reward you guys, you get to see me have a long part. So if you just wanted to see this video for the puzzle and how to get through the gym without battling any trainers, going right to plane. So, uh, that's fine, cause like this is a walkthrough. You look up videos and parts, or specific parts, or specific topics on how to get through something. So I don't mind if you guys just watch it for the puzzle and how to get through it without battling any trainers. So it's all good with me. I'm a nice guy. And you know, I just take every view really seriously. I treat it like it's wow. That person actually viewed my video and actually somewhat liked it, you know? I don't view it as like, you better view this or I'm gonna quit making videos. And I'm not that kind of person who just quits off because I'm not getting any views. Like, when I first started out, I had, I had no audience, barely anyone knew me. And what was funny is, I made my channel in 2009 of July, but didn't actually start making videos till um, January 2010. So, yeah. Cause I, back then I didn't know how to use Movie Maker, I used Movie Maker back then I will admit, for like Pokemon Ruby and all that. But over the years I've really got to know video production, I just love video production, I like how fun it is, honestly. So yeah, oh and if you talk to a machine I'll say congratulations to her. Okay, I would say congratulations, you can go to the next room. Well I'll answer this move again, electric types, uh, um, effective, no. And we get the d ding again. Okay, whatever. So yeah, but I think if after you beat the gym leader, say congratulations, go to the next um, trainer, whatever. So another super nerd. Okay. Oh, rapid dash. Just bringing out the big guns. Okay, whack them all. I'm gonna use a rock slide and then a hyper beam. Ah, oh, that ruins my plan completely. Okay, as long as you miss too, I'm happy. So we're gonna use slash first. Aw, oh, dang it, okay, let's see how much, okay, 9, 9, <laughs> okay, so 18 HP right there. So I'm gonna use one more slash, and then I'm gonna use a hyper beam. Aw, oh, cool critical hit, awesome. Okay, you're gonna only raise up your speed, but you'll probably attack first. Let's just end it with another slash. 
Thank you, Kurukule. Yes, you're gonna be um, silly enough to raise up your stats again while you could have attacked me. Taking advantage of that strike smooth strike. Or whatever. However you wanna say it. Rapidashes give off a lot of a lot of experiences. I know from fainting ponytails and rapidashes in my Pokemon Diamond Slash Pearl walkthrough. When I when like it's weird because the only fire types were Ponyta, Rapidash, and then the Chimchar family. So if you didn't start with um if you didn't start with Chimchar, you wouldn't if you wanted a fire type, you'd have to choose Ponita. You, it, it was just a thing. You just had to choose Ponita. And then evolve into Rapidash, you know. But in Platinum, you get a lot of choices. You get like Houndoom, Houndour, Flareon, Ch the Chimchar family, M Magby or Magmar, stuff like that. You got a lot more choices, honestly. So, let's use Dig. Dig, 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 dig. Dig a hole, dig a hole. That's actually a reference to Ed and Eddie. I love that show back when it was on, and it's still kind of on, you know. You see it every now and then, but you know. I honestly think old Cartoon Network was really fun. I miss Toonami, but they actually brought it back from Adult Swim. You can have watch it late at night on like Fridays or something. Fridays, Saturday nights, something like that. But that's just my opinion. You can have a different opinion. Maybe some people like, you know, the new um, Cartoon Network. And I like the new Cartoon Network too, but, you know, I still respect the classics, you know. Especially Adventure Time. That was just an awesome show. Sam the Real TBOC loves that show, and Gus, Mr. Andrew Nash, just also likes that show a lot. It's just so fun to watch. Uh, let's just dig. So, again, off topic, we fainted the Ponita. Or, that was a Warpix, actually. And now we're gonna faint the Growlithe, hopefully. Oh, Flame Wheel, cool. Flame Wheel did even make it into third generation games. Ruby Sapphire, I'm a Fire Leaf Green. I thought I just started in um, the fourth generation, but yeah, it's actually. Oh, you, you can even have Flame. You can even have Flame Wheel on the second generation, like Gold, Silver, and Crystal. But yeah, Burglar Dusty. Yeah, too hot for him. Okay. So one more trainer battle. Let's so face you. Fire's weak to H2O. H2O is the term used scientific term or um, word for water. That's obvious though. I don't know why I just say that. <laughs> it's pretty So Matt always Matt Ultimate Room 1 always complains about me over explaining stuff like that one Mario Party video. And Sam's debating that I think we should continue the Mario Party series on the Super Nintendo Guys channel, not my channel. But you know, that's fine. It's still gonna get cool views and stuff because you guys are just awesome of course yeah <laughs> one thing was that in the matching fruits game he's like I had a great memory but then he like but then Matt was like it was a strawberry Sam and I thought he chose something else I don't know why he got that wrong because I thought he chose apple but yeah strawberry orange banana apple or strawberry orange apple banana Something like that. You can go back in the video. I'll put the link in the description if you really want to see it. I'll just put it there so it's there. Yeah, fainted that growth. Now Vulpix. Okay. So let's just dig and not get hurt. Because we only have 10 HP left. Okay, we're doing good on time too. It's not too long. I think we're going to call it quits after this trainer battle. And then we're going to do the um, gym battle in the next part. So that's going to be fun. So there we go. Wakamo fighted its heart out. Er is Wackamole, is, are the Doug Trio just one Pokemon or the three um, Diglets that just appear meaner in the sprites or something? I don't know. Like, I used Wackamole in my original Fire Red and Leaf Green when I first played the game. My first run through of it, I, choose, I chose a Diglett and it just kicked butt later on in the game. And I know Diglett still has a lot to promise and a lot to, you know, be successful with, so that's nice. So, as we slowly walk out of this gym, because we can't run, we're gonna heal up our Pokemans. And the lineup will stay the same. I'll, I'll review it once we get back in the gym. But first, we want to heal up our Pokemans. Okay, welcome to Pokemon Center. Oh, yeah, I already, I already saw the dialogue last time. Dang it. Oh, me. I'm so over explaining stuff right now. Okay, um, also, if you want to comment. Well, I was thinking, like. What has been one of the funniest um, videos you guys have seen like lately on YouTube? Like, I don't really know. It's just a funny video. Oh, um, I don't know. No, really, I can't think of any video right now. Oh, um, 
know, I haven't, I haven't seen that one in a while, so I can't say that. But, um, if I were to think of a video right now, I don't even know. Ah. Oh, Game Grumps, yeah. So, let's see here. What, have, what videos have I seen? Oh, the Mario Party one, like where John Tron is um Wario and Eager Raptor is Peach. I like the the, the game come versus of Mario Party 4. And they do Mario Party 2 right now. Their their videos are really funny and it's just awesome. I can't wait to see more of their videos. But this has been John Cruddle. This will be the end of my Pokemon with Green Slash Firewood Walksy part. In the next part we will take on the gym leader Blaine, the hot headed quiz master. And here's our lineup. Wackamole will start. Backup is Dragoon, backup is White Lightning, Heroic and Flame are there for sticky situations, and Venus is our cheerleader. Venus always seems to be our cheerleader. Huh. But that's that's okay, you know, spirit is what we need in this battle. This is a key thing. So this has been Giant Kuro again. I'd like to thank you for watching again. Goodbye.